Hi, today I'm going to talk about Soir Dorian from Sicily Perfumes and I've already made a video on Eau du Soir so if you're interested in finding out about this go have a look at that video but today I'm going to talk about this one. Now Soir Dorian was launched in 2015 and honestly I know I've said it before so I won't belabor the point but I really couldn't bring myself to buy a brand new bottle of this perfume retail because I feel like in 2015 companies should know better than to use the word orient in their um, in, the, in naming their fragrances or classifying their fragrances. I know in the perfume company or the perfume community, the fragrance community, it really is just easy to classify perfumes as being oriental. Um, when you say that word, you everybody kind of knows what to expect. Um, but that being said, in light of um, the racist history that some of these brands have, and of you know the crimes that are being committed against um, different uh, visible minorities, shall we say, or members of different minority groups, uh, I don't think that anyone in good conscience can continue using words that kind of have negative connotations to them, right? So the word oriental has positive and negative connotations. If you're a fragrance lover and you love oriental fragrances, you obviously will think of scents that are beautiful and warm and luxurious and have amber spicy qualities to them. But that, that word oriental also has um, a racist history, right? So it's in everybody's best interest to move on from that use a different word, a better word, and frankly, a word that is more descriptive of the notes that are in the fragrance. So I can forgive companies from the past using that word. I feel like people really didn't know any better, but in 2015, you should know better. Okay, so how did I buy this fragrance then? How did I come across it? I actually looked it up on eBay, um, and I had read a few reviews of the scent, so I was fairly confident in buying it. I knew that it would be something that I liked and I'll get into why in a second, but I knew that if I could find it on eBay, it would be at a substantial discount and it was. I ended up paying about a third of what this is retail and I actually think that that is truer to the value of this scent. So if you're interested in Sicily perfumes, have a look on eBay. There's not a lot that's on there, um, and I think that's actually a good thing. I think Sicily is kind of a brand that's a little bit under the radar. They're not as well known as, say, Chanel or Guerlain, um, Coty even, right? Um, so you can find a lot of their perfumes and a lot of their products without there being so many that some of them are fakes. So I was fairly confident for me. Um, I was confident A, that I would like the scent and so I wanted to blind buy it and B, I was confident that what I was buying wasn't a uh, knockoff or you know an old bottle filled with something random from the tap. You know, um, the person that I bought it from was able to show me a receipt of her purchasing the scent in 2020 and she sold it in 2021 because she realized that she didn't like it. She said that her friend recommended it to her and her friend really liked it, um, but that it just wasn't for her because it was too strong. So let's get into what does this smell like? From the reviews I read and me knowing um, kind of the brand DNA of Sicily, um, Soir Dorian is a take on Eau du Soir, which is a, a well-loved fragrance of mine. I love Eau du Soir. It's a sharp, cheaper scent. Um, cheaper scents have a bergamot opening, uh, a blend of floral in their heart, and then an oak moss, uh, sandalwood, um, kind of earthy dry down. So they've got, you know, ylang ylang, rose, jasmine in the heart, and then that woody, earthy dry. This scent definitely has that. Um, and all the reviews I read said that Eau du, or Soir d'Orient was a lot like Eau du Soir in its dry down, and that was all I needed to hear because I love this, and I know that Sicily really likes that sheeper base also. Um, Soir d'Orient has 
a gorgeous citrusy opening, but it also has rose and it has a lot of cinnamon and spice mixed with the rose in its heart. And then it pairs that with the um, traditional Shebra base. So if you look for reviews of the scent, a lot of places have actually called this a um, a spicy ambery scent and it's really not an amber scent it's not that spicy it's a little bit spicy the rose has some spice mixed into it um, yeah there's there's definitely a peppery spicy um, like I said cinnamon paired with the rose but it really still has that classic uh, Sicily Shebra that um, you know I feel like the brand really loves and holds on to a lot of their fragrances have that fresh sharp Shebra base and it's just so refreshing it is so invigorating and that really makes both of these but especially this one it makes them a great scent to wear for warmer weather because they are so refreshing and they are so um, just they just wake you up and I really really love that about this scent and anyone that kind of opens the bottle and just takes a whiff of that um, that base they they just are so intoxicated by it like immediately it's like wow what is that you know and because people have that reaction to the base I think that's what makes this not for everybody so it really has to be something that you love to wear and that you like the smell of and if that's not your thing if you don't feel confident enough pulling that off then the scent might not be for you it might even be too sharp personally I love it I love a little bit of sharpness I love something that's a little bit unexpected and I think that's what really makes me love Soir Dorian I love rose notes um, so I think that works really well with the um, Shebra, I think the rose in the heart is just really amped up a little bit. It's not so much that it's too sweet, but there is a little bit of powderiness to it. Uh, the spice is not gourmand at all, but it is just um, a little bit prickly. Like it's just there enough to know that you are smelling something that's a little bit spicy and not your usual rose scent. So love that i think it was for me a great purchase i've had i will say that um eau du soir i bought this bottle or i got this bottle in 2010 and this like i said i purchased this year it was obviously made in 2020 or 2019 even and they came out with the scent in 2015 Soir Dorient doesn't last as long as Eau du Soir. Eau du Soir has amazing lasting power. It can last anywhere from 18 to 24 hours, definitely on me easily. Soir Dorient, I think, really starts to fade by the end of the day. So if I put this on in the morning, I'll find that um, by nighttime it's basically gone, which is a little bit disappointing. I don't know if it's because... Um, if that's something that's unique to just this scent, to Soir Dorient, or whether they've just started um, diluting their fragrances a lot, uh, or a little bit, you know? And, and that might be the case if you're, if you read a lot of fragrance reviews or you're in um, kind of that sphere, you hear about brands um, changing their base, diluting it, and perfumes nowadays not being as strong as perfumes used to be and it is quite possible that you know when Cicely launched this in 20 um or 2008 whenever they launched this I think it was earlier 1996 actually it is possible that back then things were very strong and then as you know they became they were distributed way more they changed their formula so that it's not as strong this might not even be so strong today if you buy a 2021 bottle i don't know i just find that this one isn't as strong as this one some people might think that's good if you found eau du soir to be a little much maybe a bit bracing then um soir d'orient might be good if you liked the idea of eau du soir but you also love the idea of rose in your fragrance then soir d'orient again is definitely for you you can see that they both have this um, 
base as their um, stopper, which is really unique to the brand. And that's just something that, you know, they really have a vision. I, I, like I just love that about them. Like I love brands that have a very distinctive vision. They're not gonna blend in. And um, you know, these two fragrances really, really don't blend in. They really are unique to other scents that I've smelled or definitely way better than anything that is mass market. And um, a lot of people are wearing their pretty unique scents. And I think you would like them if if you're looking for something that's a little bit um, sharp, you know? And sometimes you're in the mood for something sharp. So if you if that's you and you need that sharpness in your life in the summer, reach for these. I really find them invigorating and energizing. Like I said, I found this on eBay and I think I saw Eau du Soir on eBay too. They also have really cute little miniatures. Um, so if you're new to the scent and you wanna try it that way, check those out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.